Over the last week, Apple has started the rollout of the Apple Card, which is the credit card that's linked to Apple Pay and it's built right into the wallet app. Apple is partnering with Goldman Sachs for this card, which is optimized for Apple Pay, but it'll still work like a traditional credit card for all of your other transactions. Now, I did receive the invite a few days ago. I signed up and just received the physical Apple Card in the mail today. And so in this video, we're gonna go over everything that you need to know about the Apple Card. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. So once you receive the invite via email to sign up for Apple Card, the whole process could really not be any easier. Simply open up the wallet app, tap on the add card button or the little plus symbol in the top right corner, and then select Apple Card, and then you'll enter in some information for the application. That information includes your first and last name, date of birth, phone number, home address, country of citizenship, the last four digits of your social security number, and your annual income. So once your application is approved, you will be able to use the Apple Card immediately, and Apple will also immediately ship out the physical Apple Card so that you can use it like a traditional credit card if you choose to do so. Your approval screen will show you the available credit limit that you have, your APR, which could range anywhere from 12.99 to 23.99%, and that there are also no annual fees associated with this credit card. The Apple Card is designed to primarily be used via Apple Pay, whether it's online or in store, and offers rewards anytime that you use the card. So for example, if you use your Apple Card at the Apple Store or through iTunes or the App Store, you'll receive 3% cash back for those purchases. If you use your card through Apple Pay, either online or in store, you'll receive 2% back on those purchases. And then all other purchases made with the physical Apple Card or entering in your card number will receive 1% cash back. Now, while there are definitely some better reward systems out there with different cards, this is still a pretty decent incentive for users to use their Apple Card on a regular basis in order to receive some cash back. The best part about the cash that you'll get back from those purchases is that they'll actually be dispersed on a daily basis rather than having to wait weeks for those points to show up on your statement or your account balance like traditional credit cards. Apple is calling this feature daily cash. Daily cash is stored on your Apple Cash card, which if you're unfamiliar with Apple Cash, you can check out our video listed in this link up here, but it's basically just an Apple debit card. You can also send that daily cash to your family or friends in messages or transfer this money directly into your bank account. Apple offers a clean and minimal UI for the Apple Card, which offers users an inside look on their spending habits and other information that might be helpful to uh, better help track your spending or planning a budget. All transactions made with the Apple Card are listed clearly in the wallet app with color-coded categories like food and drinks, shopping and entertainment, and more. Apple Card also provides weekly and monthly spending summaries, again, using the same color coding so that you can see what you're spending at a glance. The card actually starts out all white before you make any purchases, and then as you rack up some purchases, the card will actually change colors to reflect the corresponding purchases that you've made, giving you a more useful and colorful insight to your spending habits. It actually just ends up looking like a giant rainbow because all of your purchases are most likely spread out throughout different categories. So I've only had the card for literally a few days, but I made a few test transactions, and then I made my first payment today, which was very simple. All I had to do was tap on the payment section and then slide that wheel around to the desired amount that I wanted to pay. And then I was able to pay my Apple Card balance using a linked bank account, or you can use Apple Cash inside of the wallet app. There's no option to make payments over the web. Apple Card also offers a few other notable features like purchase notifications, which can easily help users recognize potential fraudulent purchases faster, and also know exactly what each purchase is with clear transaction labeling. Instead of random numbers or letters that you might see on a bill statement, each purchase will list the full merchant name. And since this card uses the MasterCard network for payment processing, users will also have good fraud and identity theft protection, as well as other various MasterCard member benefits. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, I did receive my physical titanium Apple card in the mail today. And it feels really weird saying this, but this is definitely the nicest card that I own and one of the nicest credit cards that I've ever seen. It definitely has some pretty good weight to it considering that it's made up of complete titanium and is nearly double the thickness of a traditional credit card. 
It's definitely a clean and minimal look. In fact, the front of the card only displays your first and last name and an Apple logo, which is all laser etched into the card. And then the back only says Goldman Sachs and MasterCard. That's it. There's no card number, no expiration, CVV, nothing. While there is no credit card number actually listed on the front of the card, there is in fact a traditional 16 digit credit card number assigned to your account that you can access via the wallet app if you want to use that number on a website that does not support Apple Pay. Activating your card is as easy as going into the wallet app, tapping the activate card button, and then bring it near the card inside of the envelope. Your phone will automatically recognize and activate the credit card. This whole process honestly takes about 10 seconds. So let us know your thoughts on the Apple Card and whether or not you plan to sign up for one in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.